Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we will be learning about how to use hooks to manipulate a WooCommerce plugin. So basically hooks are used to edit or add code in WordPress without editing the core files of the WordPress. So WooCommerce is a WordPress plugin as it is but using hooks and actions you can further customize this plugin so in this video i'll be showing you how to customize using two hooks uh, in a single product page and in the cart page and also how to create your own plugin so that you can manu uh, you can you, uh, manipulate those hooks so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video okay guys so i have just quick quickly created a site over here a wordpress site using cyber panel it only has one product in it but it's going to do the trick for this video all right so first of all what you need to do is we need to create a plugin so for that reason we need to open the file manager wherever your site is being hosted for example my site is being hosted on cyber panel so i can just simply click on file manager and it will open up uh, the file manager for my site so once you do that, you'll be able to see all of your uh, basic files over here, your uh, basic files, your WordPress files over here. <clears throat> okay, so we need to access public HTML, WP content and plugins. So all of these plugins are the ones that are being displayed in your, uh, in your WordPress site. So if you open your WordPress site, open up your plugins, you will be able to see the same plugins over here. All right, so now we need to create a plugin over here. For that purpose, click on new folder, name it Cyber Panel. You can name it whatever you want. Once it is created, open it up, click on new file, and now we need a .php file over here. Again, we'll name it Cyber Panel php and create file so once we do that right click on it click on edit and we'll paste this piece of text over here once we do that click on save changes I save successfully so when you close it open it up with code editor you'll see that we have this code over here now you can change the author name over here think you can name it whatever you want so basically it's going to, what it's going to do it's it's going to appear in WordPress and you can change the author name uh, to whatever you want and basically WordPress reads this information or details and transfers it to WordPress. So for example, I'm just going to name it Asma, click on save changes and we're good to go. So once I do that, I come over here, refresh it and you will be able to see your cyber panel plugin already over here and my author name is changed. For example, if I haven't changed the author name, the previous name will appear over here. Once I do that, click on activate and we are ready to go. All right, so we have created our plugin successfully. It is activated and now we can start manipulating our WooCommerce plugin using this plugin. So what you can check out is you can check out all the hooks and a complete guide on WooCommerce hook uh, uh, on our blog page and from there you can learn about everything that is to know about WooCommerce hooks. So today we will be manipulating two hooks that is uh, that is for one is for a single product page and the second one is for the cart page. So what we can do is let's open up the same page as before and add this little piece of code over here. Now before we save it, let me just show you that in our single product page, for example, I only have one product in this page, it's a dummy product page. So when I open this up, you will be able to see that there is no information over here. But if we want to add information over here, manipulate our WooCommerce plugin, basically, 
we can add some changes and uh, using hooks and add information over here. So for example, with this code, when I click on save changes, what I'm doing is basically I'm manipulating this hook using this function and in this function, I'm, uh, I'm using this piece of code, echo hello world. So echo hello world will appear above that part, above over here so it's going to take a couple of seconds sometimes a couple of tries sometimes for example right now it will not show but after a couple of minutes it will start to show that piece of code over here all right so when i refresh this page after a couple of seconds i'm seeing hello world over here so this is how we can manipulate our WordPress plugins using hooks. This is on the single product page. In the same way, if we open up the cart page, for example, so uh, basically there is nothing over here right now. So, but if I add this little pay, this little piece of information in my file and click on save changes. What I'm doing is, again, I'm adding a piece of information before the cart. So it's going to print before cart content on my page. And I refresh it, I'll be able to see before cart content over here. In the same way, you can check out all the hooks that are mentioned in our guide, in our blog guide and manipulate them according to your needs and according to your business preferences. So that's it for today. I hope this video was informative and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyber Panel. And if you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section. Thank you.